Alright, in this video we're going to go over the parts and surfaces of the femur, the patella, tibia, uh, tibia and fibula. Uh, sorry for all the background noise, I'm recording this from a coffee shop. Let's go ahead and hit up our right femur. We'll just start off with the obvious parts. Here's the head of the femur. large surface right there. The neck would be just inferior to it. The greater trochanter. Now, this is going to be pretty useful in determining whether this is a right or left femur because the greater trochanter when you're looking at it from an anterior aspect will always be on the lateral side. So if I were to pick this up, uh, I would want to point that greater trochanter outwards, lateral, and then this would be medial, and I would know from anatomical position that this is my right femur. So there is our greater trochanter. That very large protuberance. The lesser trochanter will be medial. Let's go back to our anterior aspect. So, lesser trochanter, greater trochanter, the neck and head. The fovea capitis is not um, labeled on this uh, app, but it is that indentation there. A fovea is just kind of like a, a small, shallow depression, and capitis is Latin for of the head, so that the fovea capitis is essentially the small, shallow depression of the head of the femur. The shaft is just the entire length of the bone. Now we'll go to the distal end and identify our condyles. So remember condyles kind of around the surface where other bones are going to articulate. Uh, remember this is an anterior aspect, so this is going to be our medial condyle. Kind of that whole area right there. This here is also part of the medial condyle, but the app kind of differentiates it as the articular surface. So kind of this whole medial area is going to be the medial condyle. This is our lateral condyle. And then epicondyle, remember epi is upon to return. Here is our lateral epicondyle. So it'll be upon the lateral condyle. It's kind of that raised surface right there. And then our medial epicondyle will be that surface there. To try to differentiate between the lateral condyle and the epicondyle, you can kind of tell that it's a little raised. For the next terms, um, I highly recommend you end up in um, in one of the extra labs or during your regular lab periods to come in, grab a femur, and try to feel these parts out because, again, um, on real bones and on the models that we have, they'll all be a little different, and they're definitely surfaces that you want to be able to feel out to get a better sense of way, where they are. So the intertrochanteric line, well, inter is between trochanters. There's, those are the trochanters. So lo and behold, the intertrochanteric line is kind of a raised border. And you can kind of, you can kind of tell how it's raised right there, and it runs 
on the anterior aspect between the two trochanters. And differentiate this between the intertrochanteric crest, which is on the posterior side. And you can see that it has more of a semicircular crest shape and runs between the two trochanters. So that is the intertrochanteric crest on the posterior side and the intertrochanteric line on the anterior aspect. The gluteal tuberosity be on the posterior side on the proximal end of the bone or superior that is where the gluteus maximus will insert but again that's also kind of a slightly raised border that you'll want to feel out on an actual bone in the lab it's the gluteal tuberosity it should be a, a rougher surface as well. The linea aspera is going to be inferior to that, also on the, the posterior side of the bone. And it's kind of this double border with the groove along it. The description's pretty good, a ridge that has pronounced medial and lateral lip. And that's pretty much in the middle of the bone on the posterior aspect. The intercondylar notch, inter between the condyles, here are condyles. This is medial, this is lateral because we are at a posterior aspect. Um, the app labels it as the intercondylar fossa, but for our purposes that will be the intercondylar notch. Remember, notches are those inward turned kind of depressions angles. And then finally, the patellar surface will be back on the anterior aspect. Right there. Also, kind of between the condyles. That is, of course, where the uh, patella will articulate. So for the patella, we don't need to know any parts or surfaces. So there's our patella. You can see how it articulates right inside the patellar surface. I can move down to the tibia. Start the condyles. So these condyles are going to be on the proximal end. This is an anterior aspect. So here's our medial condyle. And it's going to articulate with the condyle of the femur. Here's our lateral condyle of the tibia. Remember how you got to write this down, lateral condyle of the tibia. The tibial tuberosity will be this surface on the anterior aspect, on the proximal side of the bone, in magenta. Let's see how it's rough, sticks out a little. Remember, tubercles, tuberosities, those are attachment sites for ligaments, muscles, and the like. Medial malleolus. It's going to be on the medial side. That's your medial kind of ankle. So that's the distal end of the bone. Kind of juts out a little. Medial malleolus, the intercondylar eminence, 
is not labeled here either, but it is on the proximal end of the bone. So let's, let's do a superior view. And this is essentially the intercondylar eminence, right? Intercondylar between the condyles. Um, the app kind of differentiates it between anterior and posterior. But it will be this area right there. And then finally, the anterior border is this kind of ridge right along the anterior full length of the shaft of our tibia. All right, our final long bone of the leg, the fibula. Maybe a couple of terms here. Head of the fibula. Just the very top. Lateral malleolus. Be at the distal end, lateral side. It's also uh, part of the ankle. And then finally, the apex of the fibula will be the very top kind of protuberance of the head. And magenta right there. So let's quickly see how these all fit together. Check out where everything articulates. There's a posterior aspect. Lateral. Anterior. Thank you.